let's make some final adjustments here to our, our initial composite here anyway. I'm gonna flip back to my move tool, just the V key on my keyboard flips me back to the move tool of course. Now here's what I want to show you, I'm just gonna zoom out here a bit. Inside the layers palette I have the statue layer selected, so now what I can do is with my move tool I can actually drag the statue around inside my image, right? Now you'll notice that the top part of the statue and the bottom part of the statue are getting cut off, as well as the right hand side of the statue as well. And that's because there is no image there. That fell out of the frame when I took the took the photograph. But nevertheless I can move this guy around a little bit if I want. Or what I could do is I could switch over to the clouds layer now inside the layers palette and then drag on the clouds to reposition the clouds and I can decide all right do I want my image to look more like this or maybe something more like this you know really whatever you want right and you can actually do some really cool things now that said let me show you a cool trick here and of course I'm still on my move tool but up on the options bar we have an auto select option here I'm gonna turn on auto select and what that does is that saves me the trouble of having to select the layer inside the layers palette and you know that's something I'm always forgetting I'm thinking about the statue and I wanna go and manipulate the statue but one of the other layers inside the image is actually selected so I have to remind myself to grab the layer then go and do what I want to do right but with this auto select option turned on now the move tool is gonna automatically select the layer for me so check this out right now I have the statue layer selected inside the layers palette But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag on the clouds and what happens is yeah I can move the clouds and the clouds layer automatically highlights as well or I could grab the statue just by clicking on top of the statue and dragging and of course I'm moving the statue and Photoshop automatically flips me over to the statue layer does that make sense if I don't have auto select turned on let me turn this guy off and let's see here right now I have the statue layer selected inside the layers palette if I bring my cursor over top of the clouds and I start to drag I actually move the statue even though I'm dragging on the clouds because I have the statue layer selected inside the layers palette just a neat little option up on the options bar this auto select and you know I find myself turning this guy on and off depending on exactly what it is I'm doing but just a neat little trick that I wanted to mention Okay, to finish things up here a little bit, I'm going to grab my clouds layer inside the layers palette. Let's use our free transform to resize our clouds. So, do you remember your keyboard shortcut for your free transform? Command T or Control T. Now, I hit Command T here on the Mac, but I don't see my free transform at all. So, I'm going to zoom out a little bit here, and eventually, if you continue zooming out, you'll see your free transform frame. Now, the free transform frame is bounding my clouds, right? So this is the size of my clouds layer, if that makes sense. So in other words, I can drag my clouds all around something like this, right? Or I can resize them by holding down shift and dragging on one of these corners, right? Let me just hit escape and I'll do this one more time here. There we are, size them down, something like this. Maybe zoom in just a little bit. It's really up to you. This is kind of the fun part here is you can set this up in whatever way you want. If you want to move your clouds around a little bit, set it up how you want. And then of course, when you're happy, just hit enter to lock in that change. So there you go. There's some, some neat tricks for you using your free transform and using that auto select to help you along with your layers inside your compositions.